Pick out a new wardrobe and we'll tell you how stylish you are. Are you a trendsetter or are you only dreaming about becoming one? Before you tell us, take our fashionable quiz from One Million Tests and find out whether your sense of style makes a room go silent when you walk in or whether putting outfits together is not your cup of tea. Are you ready? Just choose your answers and count your stars. You'll have 10 questions and 5 seconds to decide. Remember to let me know about your results in the comment section below. Let's go! Let's get started. Which word best describes your closet? Tiny. Dreamy. Fun. They say fashion is what you buy, while style is what you do with it. Do you agree with it? Tiny gets one star. Dreamy gets three stars. Fun gets two stars. Question number two. Which jean silhouette do you prefer? Skinny, straight leg, boyfriend. I think jeans is the best clothing item that has ever been invented. They are so practical and comfortable to wear. Skinny gets two stars. Straight fit gets one star. Boyfriend gets three stars. Question number three. Are you a big fan of ripped jeans? No. The more rips, the better. Only if done tastefully. Statistically, every American owns on average seven pairs of blue jeans. How many do you have? Your stars. One, two, three. Question number four. How would you describe your style? I'd say it's chic. I'd say it's casual. I'd say it's average. There are around 40 fashion weeks and 100 official events a year. Have you visited any of them? Chic gets three stars. Casual gets two stars. Average gets one star. Question number five. When it comes to headwear, which would be your first choice? I'd wear a beanie. I'd wear a boater hat. I'd wear a baseball cap. Are you enjoying our videos as much as we enjoy doing them for you? Share this quiz with your best friends so that they can enjoy our test too. Here are the stars. Two. Three, one. Question number six. Would you lend anyone your clothing, makeup, or jewelry? No, no one. Yes, any of my friends or family. Very few friends. This question reminded me of sister-sister relationships where the youngest always borrows the belongings of the eldest sister. Your stars, three, one, two. Question number seven. When it comes to jackets, which of the following would you want to wear the most? A leather jacket, a trench coat, a denim jacket. How cold is it in your neck of the woods right now? Do you already need to wear a jacket? Leather jacket gets two stars. Trench coat gets three stars. Denim jacket gets one star. Question number eight. What do your friends think of your shopping habits? They think that I'm cheap. They think that I shop way too much. They think that I can do whatever I want. Here is a proven fact. Men go shopping to buy what they want, while women go shopping to find out what they want. Your stars. One, three, two. 
Question number nine. How much does your style vary through the seasons? Very little. Quite a bit. It completely changes. Have you noticed that people wear bright colors during warm seasons and gray colors during cold seasons? Why do you think it is so? Your stars. One, two, three. Question number 10. Would you call yourself a fashionista? I invented the word. More like a trainee. Not at all. That's the final question of the quiz. You rock, guys. Catch the stars. Three, two, one. Yes, you did it. Are you ready for the results? Just add up your points and let's see what you got. You got from 10 to 13. Needs some work. Unfortunately, you weren't blessed in the style department, as is evidenced by your wardrobe or lack thereof. For some reason, putting outfits together just isn't something you're great at. On the bright side, you can only go up from here, unless, of course, you wear a clown outfit to your next date. You got from 14 to 19. Somewhat stylish. You're not the most stylish, but you aren't a hot mess either. With you, there's a lot of work to be done, but there's also a lot of potential. If you up your game a little bit, there's no telling how far you'll take this fashion thing. So give it a try and be sure to tell us what changes occurred because of it. You got from 20 to 25. Very stylish. You got very stylish and that's great because you know how to pull things together when you're on a budget and when you're not. Very few people are gifted with the ability to pull lots of trends off, but you do it in a way that doesn't make you come off as being pretentious or unapproachable. Keep it up. You got from 26 to 30. Maybe too stylish. You're the kind of gal who makes a room go silent when you walk in. You're so gifted in the fashion department that you can throw anything together and make it look good. The downside to being this stylish is that you always have to keep up with the latest trends, so much so that it may eventually take over your life. What result did you get? Please tell us about it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click the subscribe button for more cool tests.